Sunday school class offering. Um, Richard Griffith, how about athletics have an offering from? It is good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Appreciate you being here. Um, I, I know there's some things I might say this morning in the old saying, Preacher David, you're preaching to the choir. That you're probably not guilty. I, I understand. But I can only share with you what's on my heart. That, 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 that's, all I, that's all I can do. Um, uh, Mr. I'm not telling you some of the things we're talking about today that you need help with. It's not working. Oh, it's failed. No, one, no it's failed out. Let me see where it fell through, and I'll get started. I don't have done that. It may slip off if it does. If it does, it starts doing that. Just tell me because I didn't hear the rubbing part just now until y'all mentioned it. Then I heard it. Um, again, I, I know that, that there may be things I'll teach on that maybe that you're not guilty of, as I was saying just a minute ago. But it, it's going hopefully, if nothing else, it's going to enlighten you and help you to be able to help other people because they're all struggling in this world. And, I, and I'll, I'll get more into it. But before I do that, I, I, I told. Uh, Preacher David, I, I, wait, I didn't text him. I intentionally waited until I saw him yesterday um, and tell him something or other. I had gotten a phone call, I guess it had been Tuesday afternoon. Um, I knew they had a meeting that the preacher spoke at and had a phone call Tuesday afternoon. I said, man, your preacher really outdid himself. That he'd been so good. And um, anyway, sometime during the process of night, somebody called me and it, I mean, texted me rather, and it was a surprise. It, that's all I'll say about who texted me, but it's a surprise. And the message says, J. Lewis, your preacher can preach in all caps. Said they, they, they were just amazed at, at what, what was said. And I, I told him this myself at all. I'm 52 years old, and I don't know if there's ever been a time in my entire life that I was more proud to call somebody my pastor than what I was when he got done Tuesday. And I mean that from my heart. Uh, I, I really do. There was others that spoke. And they, they did fine, but I, he, he just did, I mean, he, he did right. He did right. That's all I, I know how to say is, is he did right. And listen, I don't, I'm not negative. Y'all know I don't stand about I'm not negative to things. But I, I'm going to share with you today. Things like this has got to happen for us that we get where we're at in the last day. It's just got to happen for the Antichrist to come on the scene. Right. I'm not trying to be negative to tell you that, not, because when Paul said, when you've done everything you know to do, what did he say? Stand. stand. And that's all, and let's that's exactly what people did. And that's all you can do in this evil world is stand. Don't, don't be deceived. Don't, don't flock to them and don't be with them. Separate yourself from them and, and, and not be deceived. But, and, and that's all you can do is stand. Listen, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you, I don't know where I'm going, to be honest, right honest with you. That's being honest. I've studied all over the Bible. I mean, I really just don't know. But uh, I'm going to share a few things. Before we actually get into any particular text, and I told you last week I'd finish up uh, the false prophet, and I will in Revelation 13. But there's three things that's going to happen in order for Antichrist to come. Now, there's more probably, but I've narrowed it down to three things that I feel like's got to happen, or it's kind of a must happen for the Antichrist to come. We're seeing it in our society today. First thing they got to do, they've got to reject God or reject the Word of God. There's no way you can stand on the same God and, and, and with the same principles and the same beliefs and Antichrist come. It, it's not going to happen that way. They're going to have to reject God or reject the Word of God. Just or reject it complete, completely, which is what we see in our society. And I'll explain 
I'll give you the three points and I'll explain all of it together. And not only when the time comes when they'll reject it, reject God, but they'll remove God as we know it. As we know it, as, well, as, as foundational, as Christians, foundational principles, they'll, they'll, they'll remove that. But here's the thing, it'll be replaced. It'll be replaced with something else, which is what we see in our society. Re, you know, it's going to be rejected, removed, and replaced. That's three things that's got to happen for the Antichrist. Why, why do you not think we're going to need an Antichrist? It, this stuff has got to come about if, we, if we're in the days... In the last day, and listen, I'm only going to share just a few things. Y'all know I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I should keep up with current events. I do not like I ought to, uh, but but I should. Um, that that tells you, you know, I've mentioned very few political things. I've, I've talked in this church 12 years, two back there and 10 out here, and, and I can count on one hand the times I've ever said much about politics or anything. But did you know when 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 Hitler was in office or done his thing back before my time. There was roughly 18,000 churches or ministers in, 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 uh, in Germany, roughly. 3,000 went to it and, 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 and got under this thing and was behind Hitler, 3,000. 3,000 more, a different 3,000, said it's wrong it's against God, what God's work, what he's trying to do, and they would not stand with him. 3,000 stood with him, 3,000 stood against him. But 12,000 were silent. Now listen, I am the, I, I'd be the first person to tell you, boy, about confrontation. I have always hated it. But I'm telling you, we sent in the time, you're going to have to stand up for God. Yep. I'm just telling you where we're at. You, we, we in the time, you, you got to stand up for him. What is it? Is it Evan, Evan Burke the one that's made that statement about the only thing it means for, for, for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing? That's close. I know that's not word for word, but that, 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 y'all get the picture. Hey, hey we, we got, and this here, what can we do? We can stand. And this there, it ain't just in Ory County, it ain't just in Conway. It's happening, it, it's happening all over the world. And I, I, I you know, I, I woke agenda. I mean, this, the devil's just doing everything he can, and, and it's, it's nothing but the, the spirit of Christ is dying out, and the antichrist, antichrist spirit is growing bigger and larger, and it's getting to where it can welcome him on the scene. I'm going to just read a few things from you. Uh, corporate America, corporate America I, I'm going to read this because I, I want to get it all right make sure I don't tell you something wrong. Corporate America is promoting some of these companies, and they, some of them is partnered with transgender Satanists and, and to design clothing and things with satanic symbols and rainbow colors. Satan, people that's actually transgender Satanists. Yes, that's what's behind a lot of this stuff. And, and, they're, and they've, got the, they've got the money. Listen here, if you, the man that owns the, uh, the, the, the land and the, and the money always thought they control the people. If you own the land and you own the money, you control people. And, that, and that's what these companies, organizations do that. Uh, and I'm just reading through these briefly, and this, this is just a few. There, there are probably hundreds. I mean, you, but, we got, but, but, but we've got to stand. In this last day, we've just got to stand for what's right. Uh, Target, you know, we've seen with the tuck friendly bathing suits, even some say for kids. And I'm just going to read through them just to tell you where we're at, and then we're going to move on. North Face has a guy with a mustache wearing a rainbow dress. Saying there will be hiking, a community art, lesbians and lesbians making art. I, and this is true stuff. Yeah. And, and our children is growing up. And this, I, I know the difference. And, and I, I'm pretty sure you sitting out here, you know the difference. I'm pretty sure you do. But you you got to raise children. We've ever seen a time that we better put every piece of work, or every word of God we can get in our children and our grandchildren. It's now. Yeah. It's now, I'm telling you. It thinks it's going to get difficult. I mean, I, mean, I didn't write that. Paul did this. So all of a sudden, the last days that, that those time, perilous times will come. They're difficult, dangerous times. We're there. We're living in that time just before. I mean, this thing is setting up for the Antichrist like we couldn't believe. Um, Disney has a guy with a mustache wearing a dress welcoming little girls into an enchanted chamber. I've looked at some of this stuff online. I, I, I like to check stuff. I don't just, just so as I hear it, I don't believe everything I hear, but I check it out, and it's true. I mean, they've received backlash. And this great one very many years ago that 
that Disney would fire directors off, uh, fire people that wrote stories and movies because of little things they thought was inappropriate. That ain't been that many years ago, but not today. But not today. Uh, Coles uh, targeting children uh, to promote the LBGTQ plus community through clothing, biological boys, uh, through clothing, and they're doing that through clothing. And then we got you know, biological boys and men competing in women's sports and, 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 and this bathroom ordeal. I'm telling you, it's a growing problem. It's not going to get better. But we've got to stand. We've got to stand against all this stuff. And, and, and just recently at the Dodger Stadium, and I saw this, uh, there was a group of men dressed up like, or dressed up like women nuns with a man simulating Jesus on a cross with another man dancing around the cross on a, doing a pole dance. Do you not realize how big sports is in America? I mean, this there, and, and this there, we're, you're, you're seeing that stuff. You can't undo things you see. I don't care what you say. You can't undo it. Once you've seen it, once your children's been exposed to it, and, and especially the younger they are, and, and it's inbred in them, They'll never know the difference. If my grandchildren live to be my age, and the Lord will, and the Lord don't return, I don't know what this world would be in by the time. Listen, I, I always thought my great granddad, I always thought, boy, I'd love to have been born in his day. He was born in 1898. You know, he, he seen, you know, where there weren't no vehicles, there weren't no airplanes, and the band didn't go to the moon. I said, boy, he saw so much change. And I used to think that as a boy growing up. But in my 52 years, I've seen more change than he did. And he lived to be 93, 94, 95, somewhere in their early 90s, years old. Change, I'm telling you, church, I mean, we, we just got to we just gotta stand up. And, and the man on doing the pole dance was demonstrating homosexual acts while he was doing all that. And, and it's on our TVs and, 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 and internets and whatever, wherever. You just see it everywhere you go. But you got to stand against it. You, can, you, you can't. You, you can't just you just can't go along with that. But that people are being deceived, and I know I hate to say that, and you're probably going to hear that. But people are they're, they're living in deception. Yes. Um, I was doing some studying to see see where 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 like transgender and all this community people. I, I'll just say they had to get their ideas from somewhere. So I began to do a little bit of study, but there's this theory in recent days, in recent years, and not too long ago, based on Romans chapter 1, verses 18 through 28. And there's this thing where they're saying, and I'll explain more if you don't get it, where it talk, and I wanted to go there, but we, and we may, but let's just see on time, where it talked about men leaving the natural use of woman and men burning with men and women with women and, and, it, and it goes against nature they're saying now scholars that profess to be Christian that profess to be Christian they're saying now that Paul didn't deal with that in his day like we're doing in our day and it means complete opposite of what we say it means I'm just telling you what's out there I mean, I'm just telling you I, mean, I ain't making it up just look it up do some studying well they're saying now, you know, you hear this idea, well, people was born a homosexual. I don't believe that. No. I, now, are we born in sin? I, 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 I understand. Well, we're, we're, not, we're not born that way. That's the desire. That you, because it's a lust of the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was pills. Come on. Right. I, I can't help it. I can't change it. My, mine was pills. Mine ain't never been that. Right. But just like preacher good, mine was pills. Theirs is the same sex. I mean, and I know we're in Sunday school, but listen, church, you need to hear it. We, we, need, we need to hear it. That's what's wrong now. We've been silent too long. We've been silent too long on things like this. But they've been taught, they teach it now that you're born that way. So what they're saying this text means, if you're, if you're born as a homosexual and, and you come to age and somebody forces you to be a heterosexual when you, when, when you were born a homosexual, then you're going against the nature of, your, of yourself, and that's what's wrong. I, does that make sense? Is that, is that clear enough or no? Yeah. Yeah. Just to make sure you get me. Yeah. They're, 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 that, that's what they're teaching in our colleges. Now, and, 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 and some seminaries, I'm not, I, I love education. I, I, I wish I had more of it. 
but but they, they sure enough do preach it. I mean, but you, but I'm telling you, it's a teaching, it, and it's fairly, it's not real old. I mean, it's fairly new, but it's something that scholars are saying that Paul didn't deal with it in his day. He didn't he didn't have this problem like they're having today. That, that's that's true, and people are flocking. You want people are, are deceived. Go to Romans 1:18. Let's just read a few verses there. I don't know where we'll go from there, but just go to Romans if, if we can. Romans 1, 18. Let me see where I'm at. I might be there. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. In other words, they're suppressing the truth. The wrath of God is revealed against all. His, his wrath is against godliness and ungodliness of people that who hold the truth in unrighteousness. In other words, they're, they're saying they're changing the truth, and more or less is what it's telling. Trying to, they're suppressing the truth. And this when a scholar stands up and says what I just said to you, he's suppressing the truth because that is not the truth. Right. That is not the truth. Verse 19. I'll try to hurry. Because that. Uh, may, uh, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has showed it unto them. In other words, they're looking for another way. They know the truth, but it don't fit their lifestyle. Right. So there's somebody in the, in the picture that said, hey, uh, hey, you know, you can still have that lifestyle. That ain't what it means. You know, they got, I don't know if I said this already, but they got a website, this, this community, I'll call them, got a website, whosoever.org. Whosoever, L L L B G T Q. I might get it wrong, the letters wrong, but you know what I'm talking about. They got a website, whosoever.org. Now, I haven't actually visited the site, but I found it on there where it says how you can go here. And it tells you how to deal and how to combat what you're facing with, with, with the you know, race or being whatever against you. All right, but all, right, let's go to the next. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Being understood by the, by the things that are made, even that his eternal power in God is so that they are without excuse. They know deep down in their heart they're wrong, but they're, they're, they're deceived and they're going off on somebody else is to do it, and, and they're without excuse. 21. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain. In their imaginations and the foolishness, and their foolish heart was darkened. They became vain in their imagination. Listen, don't 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 think you can ever get to a certain point in your life to where you couldn't get vain in your imagination. You take God out of the picture and quit worshiping God and putting yeah. God there for who He is, and give yourself a little while and see what you yeah. become. And just see what you become. If you're set from God, apart from God, I mean, if you, if you quit serving him, you quit seeking him, you quit seeking God, and you do this thing the way you want to, there's no telling where your imagination will be at in a, a year or two. Amen. There's no telling. Right. According to Genesis, I mean, man's heart was evil continually, according to Genesis chapter 6. Uh, yeah. Verse 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became foolish. They became fools. I, I, I don't know what I could add to that. I'm sure you've got to understand that. Professing themselves to be wise. I mean, I mean they, they, they thought within themselves, hey, we got this figured out. We know something they don't know. That's what that's telling you. We know something they don't know. Oh, you just got to love everybody. You know, just, uh, God is a God of love. Why, why do you hate me? I don't hate, I don't hate my worst enemy. I don't. If I got them, I mean, I, don't, I can't name one right off. I don't hate nobody. But without Jesus Christ and being born again and being changed, you'll die and spend eternity in hell. Yeah, right. it's, just, it's just that plain. I, again, I, I understand there's things that's debatable. I, I understand there's some things. The things I'm talking about, they ain't debatable. Right. Abortion is at an all-time high. That's not debatable. Not debatable. It's not debatable. It, they're just... They're just you, you, you just can't pull nothing out of that and debate that. It just, it's just not there. And there's other issues. But professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Verse 23. And changed the glory. Changed now. 
the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like the corruptible man and beast and four-footed beast and, and creepy thing. They, they've just changed it. They, they've changed what God was, what God stood for, what God came for. God created a, a man and woman to become one. And, and there is no other answer. That, 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 but they've changed the glory of an uncorruptible God. Verse 24. I don't want to move on. There's a few more verses I want to get to. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts. That's, that, that's exactly right. Man and man. man, man. That's exactly what it means. It means exactly what it, don't, 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 that, that's exactly what it means. It's unclean before God. Through the lust of their own flesh. I don't deny that somebody that's in that situation don't desire the same thing. I'm not telling you the flesh, not a, not a spiritual man, but a fleshly man. Flesh desires everything it don't need. Yeah. I, I, you do realize that. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it, it desires, you may not talk about it, and you may not, but it, right. you just can't tell me that it, the, the, all, there's all types of things that flesh desires. You, you, you just, I just can't do everything this says do. Right. You may, but it'll get you in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> it'll get you in trouble. You, you can't act on you can't act on that because if you do it, I, I fancy if you live in the flesh long enough, then the, then then your mind will run away from you. Then you talk about the the evil continually and the vain imagination. They'll run rampant. They'll run wild. And they're dishonoring their own bodies between themselves. Verse twenty five. Who changed the what? Say it with me. The truth. Yeah. Change the truth. Hey, we're living in a time. That's what, that's what the world's doing. They're changing the truth. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For what to every man so is. That's how we also reap. Don't be deceived. I, I, I've been studying on this thought, and I can't prove it yet. But, but I'm about to believe, as far as future events, Jesus talked more about deception than he did anything else. I, 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 that's just my thoughts, and I've been studying through myself, trying to see things that Jesus said. But I, I'm about to believe that he talked more on that than did anything else. The deception, deceive. Don't don't be deceived, church. Yes, I, and I, I'm I'm sure you sitting here, you're not. But I want you. To, I want to help you where you can help somebody else. Because there's everybody in this church got family members that's deceived. That, it ain't just in my family. I, I I don't know you, your family. I, I honestly don't. But you can't tell me you don't have somebody in there or, or a group that's deceived. Deceived because every family has them. Yes. And I, I hate it for people like that that's going to stand before God. And, and what's the bad about it? a lot of them thinks they're right. A lot of because the truth is being changed. And who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creator or the cre creature, I'm sorry, more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Don't do that. Don't change the truth of God in, in, into a lie. Verse 26. For this God for this cause God gave them up into a vile affection. Every, everything, everything I'm telling you about is all in context. preacher is all in context. Again, a vile affection for, for even their women did change the natural use in which to, into that which is against nature. This is what they're saying here. What I was mentioning just a minute ago about them saying if you were you, you were born a homosexual, then it would be against your nature to be a heterosexual. This is the verses they use to get that. Add that. I mean, that's so twisted. The devil always, and let me say this here before I get, and I'll, I'll, I'll go back on. The devil, the devil's got a way of snaring people, and, and let me try to explain this. So Satan has attacked the church for thousands of years, let's say, or for 2,000 years. And when he attacked the church and he killed them and he done this and that, the church just all went through. It just always grew because it was going through tribulation and trials and, and, and they were holding fast to the faith and they were just, and they were just growing. Sure, there's a lot of them died, but there's a lot more saved. Yep. But if you go back to the Old Testament, there was a man by the name of Balaam. Mm -hmm. And there was a king by the name of Balak, Balak, Balak whatever, Balak, I reckon. And he wanted to, uh, uh, he wanted the Balaam to curse Israel. 
And on three different occasions, he took him to a place and, every, and, 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 and made him wound up doing the opposite. And one at a time, at least, and blessing him instead. And Balak got mad about it. But he said, if you really want him destroyed, lead him off into sin. And God will destroy him. Now, you've got to read a whole bunch to get that, but, right. but the, th the thought is there. Yes, the thought, the thought was, and this again in Revelation chapter 2 when he tells the church there was a doctrine of Balaam in their, you know, in, in, their, in their church. So, so the devil has used this principle since he, since he couldn't kill us and do away with the church. If he could get us to turn our belief, and, and, and the thing was was to commit whoredom uh, and, and uh, uh, sacrificing the other gods, I believe it was. Anyway, uh, uh, commit adultery or adultery or fornication was, was the big one in it. And that's a big word, but that covers what I'm telling you about today. So if the devil couldn't kill them, if he can get them to change their belief, Listen, do you not know there's churches all over America and it's in church today with a rainbow flag flying right. in their yeah. church? Yeah. Do you not know that? Yeah. And, and it's whosoever, whosoever. I mean, we, we love you. Come on, be it. You know, I, and I realize about to come as you are, but I, I, I believe in that myself. But I believe if God gets a hold of you, you'll be changed. Yeah. Period. Yeah. You'll be a new creature in Christ. You, you won't come in. You, 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 won't, you won't come in as, as in that lifestyle and, and be saved and be changed and go out and go right back to it. Right. People fall. People make mistakes. I, I understand. Well, could, Pete, could, a, could a man that's been saved uh, commit an act and get, and get into something? Uh, he could. Or he, he or she could. But they couldn't live that lifestyle. I just don't believe that. Right. If they did, they didn't, get, they didn't get saved. They didn't get changed. I'm not going to tell you that everybody falls short and it comes short in the glory of God. You and me included. But there's a difference in, in falling and making a mistake than it is in living a lifestyle. Yeah, right. and, and, you, and, and you'll come out among them and be separated. Yes. I, I believe that. I believe that would be biblical. But that's what the devil is doing. He's using that doctrine of Balaam just to, to lure more people away. And this year, God will punish them one day. They used the rainbow... And, and God did put a rainbow up there for, for us. He promised us that he would never destroy the earth again by water, Hunter. Mm -hmm. But the day's coming, they'll face the fire. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 Amen. They ain't a promise that we won't have no more fire. Right. They can fly the rainbow or any, any other color they'd like to. It's all, all well and good. But one day you'll stand, they'll stand before God at the judgment seat and be judged. And it's too late then to realize you're wrong. You need to do everything you can to be a witness to your family. I, I, I say this often. You need to do everything you can to, to be a witness to your children, your grandchildren, or your great-grandchildren, whatever you may have. I mean, you need to instill, you need to put it in their hearts, the Word of God and what God said and, God and what God meant while you have the opportunity. Because this thing's growing fast. It's growing fast. First, next, uh, next verse. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their own lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their heir, which was meat. You know another verse? And even if they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over yes. to a reprobate mind. You, you realize that God will do that, give you over to a, to a reprobate mind? I'm just telling you what the Word says. Some people don't, don't, don't think like I do sometimes. That's okay. God could make you do anything. Don't you misunderstand me. But God don't make you do everything. God a lot of times lets you go just as far as you want to go. To let you see what you're doing is wrong. Does that give an example of the prodigal son? I mean, that's terrible. Until he hit bottom and realized he was wrong. When he realized he was wrong, then he turned around and he came back to his father. Yes. God lets us go sometimes. No, he just let us, let us run, let us go. Yes. Let us face things in life to realize that it's wrong. But God gave them over to a reprobate mind that they could do the things that... that and this is to do the things which are not convenient. That means to do the things which are not right. Yes. That's what that means. Yes. 
God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not right. That, skip down to the last verse of that chapter, if you will. All right, there's more to it there. Is that, is it, the last one's like 31 or 32? Yeah. Talking to the same group of people now, he just names the sins. If you read the rest of it, I'm, I'm trying to move to get one more place. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they that will commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, in other words, they do it, although they know it's wrong, they, they've, just, they've just found a loophole, they found something other to justify what they're doing. They know it, and they know what God's judgment was on that to begin with. They commit a worthy of death. Not only do they do, they do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Yeah. That's where we're at. We're living in, in, in church. And we, I mean, you know, somebody called me last week and, or this week and said, are you saying we're in the tribulation? I said, no, you're missing the point. I didn't say that at all. I said, but we are at the point leading up to that, oh, yeah. and we are very close to that. Yeah. Now, could it be a few years? I'm not disputing that. I mean, nobody knows, but I'm telling you the things is, Things that all this has got to happen, church, for that Antichrist to come. Let's read two, 2 Thessalonians 2 9 through 11. And then I want to read one more. And I promise I'll, I won't hold you long. I, I had a lot more to go, but that's yours. I ain't going to say much. I ain't going to say, I'm just going to pretty much read it. Pretty much just going to read it, and I'm going to go to Revelation. Uh, whatever. What the 2 Thessalonians. 2, 9 through 11. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lie and wonder. I mean, let's tell you, it's setting this thing up for the Antichrist. Yeah. Who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs, lying wonders. Next verse. And with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Now, I get out of that text because they reject it. They are not saved. Right. Amen. They receive not the love of the truth. Now, listen, I don't know. I mean, I, I love the truth. Listen, I can stand before you. I didn't say I always did right. I didn't tell you everything. I did. I, that's not the case. But I love the truth. I, I love the truth well, most of the time. Like I said, most of the time. I understand what you're saying. But, but you know what I mean. But he said, they, 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 because they received not the love of the truth. In other words, it didn't really say, uh, per se, the truth. It said the love of the truth. A little, little bit, in other words, they, they just don't, that they might be saved. Next verse. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. Right. Yes, sir. That's right. That they should believe a lie. A delusion is a, a strong disbelief. A strong, uh, something that is, it, can, can you not see it? Can you not see it in our nation, in, 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 our, in, our, in our world? Let's go, let's go to Revelation chapter 13. Let me close up with that. I got a few, I got five, six, eight minutes left, whatever it is, five minutes. Revelation chapter 13, and this is down in verse. I had to turn there because I don't remember. Verse 11. Revelation 13, 11, and we'll read the last few verses there. Now, I talked last week on the Antichrist and how he would come and things that would happen, and I told you I would. Uh, kind of finish up here about the about the, the false prophet again I, I know I've said it over and over and over but things are setting up for the antichrist the work it's, get, it's getting everything all these things come to pass uh, the, 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 the removing and replacing and rejecting the, of, of the, the word of God and, 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 and as we know it as our biblical principles all that's got to go for this antichrist to come on the scene like he's going to come but he's going to have help we have a Father and a Son and the Holy Ghost. We have three. But don't you think the devil will also have three yeah. when that time comes? 
There'll, there'll be the dragon, which we know is Satan, and there'll be the Antichrist, which we know will be a false Christ, but then there'll be a false prophet, which is like the Holy Spirit. He'll do the work like the Holy Spirit does, the Holy Ghost, whichever do, does in, in our life today, but he'll, he'll physically do those things. And it says, listen, it says, I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb. Now, I, I, I can't no way, shape, form, or fashion prove this, but I believe it's got everything in the world to do with religion. I think everything everything you read about do with this here, I, I think it's religious. And let me give you an example of what I'm trying to say. I am not saying it's this kind of person. I'm giving you an idea. Everybody get that? Amen? Come on. Probably one of the most powerful men in the world is the Pope. Yes, sir. Now, oh, yeah. I'm not no shape, form, or fashion I'm telling you it's the Pope. I'm not, that's not what I'm telling you. But I'm telling you like that because yes, I don't know. But I'm telling you that it would have that type of impression. This year, whether you realize not what Pope says goes in most cases that I'm aware of, and what I've studied on. So, so there, I have another, and, and this year, I, I, some people say this is church. Some people say it may be uh, uh, like, like Jesus was a lion. I heard a sermon one time, been a long, long time ago. This preacher preached this sermon, and uh, I, I don't remember all the details, but it's, but in, in in short, I can sum it up in two or three sentences what his what his sermon was about. Jacob had twelve sons. Two of them committed the same sin. One of them repented, and Jesus come, was the lion of the tribe of Judah. And the other one did not repent, and the Antichrist will come through him. That's in a nutshell what he says in, 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 his, in his message. So who, who it, it says rise up out of the earth, which very well could be. Remember all the other beasts come up out of the sea, which were Gentile nations. I told you that before several times, if you remember. But this would come up out of the earth, which could be religion, or it could be somebody in, in the Jewish community. It could be. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Verse 12. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them which dwell therein worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. In other words, he'll be, he'll be over-worshipped. Somebody else, he'll, he'll, call, he'll cause the world, as you know it, to worship after him. The world. Now, listen, you don't have to believe it like I do, but I believe when it says world there, I believe it means everybody. Now, you, you, don't, you don't have to. That's what I think. I, 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 you know, and, and maybe we're not quite there yet, but it's coming. But if an all this, see, when all this antichrist spirit comes in like it's doing, all the people are being deceived. Listen, if somebody can deceive. Listen, if you can be deceived on this, don't you think you won't be deceived on that? Amen. Deception yeah. is deception. I mean, and this, it's probably easier for that person to be deceived because they put too much confidence in what man has said. Because God, no shape, form, or fashion has ever condoned some of these things we're talking about this morning. He's never done nothing but destroyed anybody that had anything to do with it. So, therefore, they having to go on what man says. So, they, you know, so when it's Antichrist with their strong delusion, he'll cause all of them to worship the Antichrist. I, I, I can't explain that. But I'm just telling you what it says. Now, the ones that's names written in Lance's Book of Life, it tells us in this text, no, they won't worship him. But the world, as you and I know it, will follow and worship him. Verse 13. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. You know how many people that would convince? That uh, Here's a man, I don't know how he does it, I don't have no idea. You remember in Old Testament, Elijah said, let the God that be God answer by fire? You remember, I mentioned it last week briefly, just like this week. He, whatever he does, he'll be able to call it down in the sight of men. And all the earth will just be amazed at him. Mm -hmm. Again, I talked about social media last week. Yep. Talked about it, social media, you know. And, and minutes after something happens or seconds after something happens, the whole world can see it. Just where we at in time. Verse 14. And what? Deceiving. I mean, the Bible's full of it, church. I ain't never noticed so much deception. I, not like I have in the last few weeks. Yeah, I mean, I know it's there. Don't get me wrong. It ain't changed. It ain't been there. It's not new. As far as if it's true, it's not new. and new, it's not true. But it's just always been there. I just hadn't, hadn't noticed it as much as I have in the last few weeks. And deceiving them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he has power to do in the sight of the beast. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound, which had the wound by a sword, 
Keep going. And did live. Let's go another verse. Ain't been one or two left. And he had power to give life to the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. You'll either worship him or you'll die when that time comes. I've not got to hurry. Keep on. And he causes all, small and great, rich and, uh, uh, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Next verse. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. One more verse, I think, maybe. Here is wisdom. And I don't have no idea what does happen when, it, when the time comes. But let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for he is the number of a man. And his number is, is 600, six, a three score, and six, which is six, six. Six. I'm, all, I'm almost done. Mr. Church, we got social media today. Listen to me. Now. I'm almost finished. Or I'm going to stop. We have social media today. I know I said in the beginning, I know we're in Sunday school, but let me tell you something. Did you not know when this country was founded? When this country was founded. I've been, I've been back doing some digging, doing some studying. They didn't have social media as you and I had today. They didn't have the, the opportunity to do those things. They were sending out documents and things to churches. And the pastor would address what those amendments and whatever the case may have been in those days, whatever it was from their pulpit. Because most people went to church. I ain't saying everybody did because naturally they didn't. But there was enough went to church that they could tell who didn't go. There was that many. I'm sure it would have been there. Listen here, this, this country was founded under one God. The God that we serve. It, it, right. that, that's true. It's not there now. This president we got now said it's the first, week, first day in office. He would lift a band, they'd be a file of Muslims. I mean, that was his first, that's what he said when he was running. His first day of office. I don't know what all he did, don't keep up with politics. But this ain't a Muslim, this weren't intended to be a Muslim nation. Right. Right. I'm not beating up on them or, or, or nobody else. But they came over here to, 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 to have a religious freedom to be able to serve Jesus Christ as you and I serve him today. That was the purpose of this country. Yes, sir. That, 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 was, that was the purpose of us to come here under the First Amendment to have freedom to be able to be able to worship Him and 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 to serve Him, and that, that's there. There's a lot of people paid that price. People's made all kind of things out of it today. I mean, it's been been the court that that statement has been the court so many times over over the years for different getting different things out of it. But we were supposed to be one nation under God. Indivisible of liberty and justice for all. That's, that's what our founding fathers meant. I believe if they could look, roll back today and see what's going on. Listen, I realized there was, uh, what was it, 56 signers on the, uh, when, they, when, they, when they done that with the Constitution. And, and I realized that all of them were not Christian. I, I'm sure of that because I've read stuff. I, I read where one of them, and I believe it was Benjamin Franklin. Don't hold me to that. I, I think it was. I've written, and this, cause this has been years ago that I read this, that there was a problem going on. He said, you need to pray. He, he weren't a Christian man, he said, but I've seen what God done when y'all did pray. Right. Yeah. And one, I think it was Benjamin Franklin, but it was one of them. This made that statement. All right. <laughs> Sorry, but he made that. I, I didn't study on that. But anyway, I just, that's just something from the past. The church, again, if we've ever seen a time, we need to stand. I, I, you might not change one thing that goes on in the comments. I, I, can't, I can't answer that. But when you've done everything you know to do, I say again. You've got to stand, yes. and you've got to stand upon these Bible, biblical principles, and, and don't be in the truth to fit anybody's lifestyle. Because once they die and stand before stand before the Lord, it's too late. Yes, it's over. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm not finished, man. I'll quit. Anybody got a question or comment?
Sure. Because we're, we're solid in what we believe in. But our kids are so vulnerable. Yeah, sure. And I've seen when young believers, I was on the lake and I was driving, and I happened to notice a flag, and it was a rainbow flag. And it had a ton of kids out there. The girls were playing together, <coughs> and the boys were playing together. And they were having big activities and fun for those kids. And they're dragging them in. And that's yep. the way they're. Sure. We're the fun of the world, and we are not standing up for that. If we do exactly right, it's going to happen right here under us, and we're not going yeah. to know what happens. Another thing I do, and I think this would really lead to what you're saying with the Antichrist, I walk into the convenience store, and we all know how Walmart is. It doesn't mean you have to check yourself out. The convenience store is cleaning that. Oh, yeah. Because mm-hmm. in New York, take a bigger part of the corporate store so if you have cash in your pocket you can easily spend it there so what, what you're saying here is, is very very true that some of you you've taken over the antichrist or the devil's taken over for the antichrist sure. to be able to control you and it's not going to be long like that but I think it's coming here because we've sure. already seen it starting to come sure and holding up the same Muslim traditions in the Catholic Church. Right. And, you know, when there was Anabaptists and Huguenots, which were called rebaptizers, because this is in the early days of Reformation, you know, the Catholic Church would crucify and kill Christians because they went against the, the Mother Church is what they taught. Right. So the Catholic Church has no problem executing judgment on people that don't believe what they teach. And I believe they're going to revert back to that through the Muslim yeah. community. Yeah. And I, I do believe we're uh, we're headed down a dangerous road because, like you were saying, the Pope, his word literally supersedes the Bible. If the Pope sure. says something that contradicts the Bible, they rewrite their they rewrite their Bible. And so uh, we need to pray. We need to pray. Yeah. It's coming strong. It's coming fast. It is. A- anybody else? Sure. Right. Right. You're right. Anybody else? Go back and make it count change. And you can see the Bible is what? Is it laid down? Is it saved? 
I think we need to fight as much as possible. Did I, tell, did I say there's things you, you can't go but so far? Like I did, yeah, you, you couldn't. I mean, it, I mean it, and I'm not, don't think y'all are just laid down and take it. I'm not saying that because I've said, or I've already said, we need to stand. 